guys, what's up? So welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Appreciate the support that I've gotten in the last couple, uh, well, in the last month, really. It's been skyrocketing, the support that I've gotten, and I really appreciate it. So today, I would, I thought I would start a project on here that a lot of people are doing that I'm following on YouTube, and I really think it's a good idea, especially if you have a lot of makeup like I do. So it's called Project Pan, and basically what that is, is you group together a bunch of items that maybe you've had for a while, or maybe you just want to get through, and you try to use them up in a certain amount of time, or you just use them up. So I have a group of items here and I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm going to take pictures of what they look like in this video and we're just going to talk about them and I'll show you them and I'll do like monthly updates. I don't know if I'm going to have like a specific time frame because I feel like that would be really hard for me to keep up with, but maybe I will. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I have a time frame? Let me know. If you've done this before, please, 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 please. Um, hit me up with some advice because I am kind of at a loss. I mean, I've watched a couple videos, but like, I want some advice. So let me know if you've done this before or have watched other people's videos before. Let me know. And I'm going to just show you the next and we're going to talk about how long I've had them and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm going to just get into it. The first product on my list is the Benefit Sugar Bomb. And if you remember in my blush decluttering video, I was going to get rid of this unless I used it within the next month, and I actually did. Um, I used it as a highlight, and I actually really liked it as a highlight. As a blush, it just didn't really show up on me. I feel like, I don't know, my com it didn't work with my complexion. So I am going to try to use this up because, I don't know, it's not really a product that I reach for a lot. So I kind of just want it out of my collection. Um, I don't think I'll miss it when it's gone type of thing so this is where we are there is quite a dent in there you probably can't even tell but I've had this product for so so freaking long this was probably one of the first makeup items that I got and that was like three years ago so or two years ago something like that so there is where I am right now and again I will take pictures of these for my own maybe I'll insert them at the end of this video I don't know how I'm gonna do it but that's where I am so I'm probably gonna be using it as a highlight try to maybe layer it on a blush actually it would look really nice over my elf hd blush i think the two of them would look really good together so this is going to be in my project 10 pan i'm going to be rotating it through my blush and highlight and all that jazz another item in the blush category is the master matte actually i don't want this in there because it's limited edition okay so i'm actually gonna keep this in here for the sake of me telling you that I'm going to take it out of the product pan already because this is Master Matte from um, Maybelline. This was limited edition, so I'm not sure why I put it in here. So this is going out of my um, collection and I'm going to actually put it in replace of the Master Matte blush. I'm going to be inserting the Smashbox single shadow. I don't even know the color. Oh, I already hit pan on this though. Well, I'm gonna try to finish it. This is where I am. This is where we're starting. Um, I hit, hit major pan. It's a really nice champagne shade. I really should use it more, but um, I am going to try to finish it up because again, this was one of my first makeup items ever. So that was like three or two years ago. So I am going to try to use this up. I have a few single shadows because I want to try to work through my single shadows. I hate having single shadows in my collection. It's so annoying. So this is a Sephora. This was a little tester sample. If you can see, it's like quite smaller than a regular size of any single shadow. This is a colorful mirror shadow. I don't know the shade name, but it's a sparkly gold shade, as you can see. And I'm gonna open this up for you. And this is actually a really creamy gold shade, and I could probably rock that in the fall a lot. So I am going to try to use this up, or at least hit pan. So this product and this is like brand new I've used it like twice or three times so I definitely want to rotate that through my collection this is a single shadow by Urban Decay last call this is in their old packaging guys so this is a throwback item this is so, I don't even, I wish I knew exactly like how long I've had these products because that would be really interesting um, but yeah it's a really nice like burgundy 
purple pink shade. Oh, I love it. It's so gorgeous. I've used this a couple times in tutorials, actually, so that's cool. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this, but we're going to find a way because I do want to, you know, work through this and spend it in my collection forever, but it is a gorgeous color. I mean, I know why I picked it because it's super metallic and sparkly and all that fun stuff. So one product that I could wear with like, I could wear these two products together. This is a 24-hour color tattoo in inked and pink. Oh, I've had this forever, too. Like, probably when they first came out. Guys, I'm so bad. I mean, I did actually... I, I have done a pretty good job at it. So this is where we're at right now. And again, I need to take pictures to really tell where we're at. Oh, there we go. Now you can see how far I am. Look at that. I, I feel like I'm really close to the bottom, but I do need to work through this. I'll be able to wear this under like the Naked 3 palette or my unzipped palette from Lorac. So we're, we'll find some ways, and of course with the single shadow. So I have faith in this product, but I definitely got to get through it. Next on my list is something that I really don't like, but I am I paid for it and I am so bad. So we're just gonna work through it and deal with it. I don't care if I don't like it. This is the Maastricht and Seal camouflaging highlight um, concealer, and at first I really, 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 really liked this. In fact, I blogged about this as one of my top 10 concealers. I should really update that. Yeah, at first I really liked it because the coverage is really good. However, today I noticed at work, went to the mirror, and I noticed that it like caked up on my chin and like this area, and I was like. That's so weird, it's never done that before. So I don't know if it was because I was really hot before work and the sweat kind of got to it. I don't know what it was, but this did not hold up. So it's not a long lasting concealer. It's very thick. So maybe I put too much on or something. I am going to try to use this up though. Again, I don't know where I am at this, with this. I don't think it really matters to you where I am as long as like I finish it eventually. I know some people like put lines of where they are, but literally guys, I can't, it's so, there's so much air in here that I can't feel where I am or anything. I think I'm like almost done because I actually have to press down to get some out before I barely had to press down. So I don't know where I am, but hopefully I'm almost done with this because that would be awesome. So this is in my project pan. Okay, so originally I had the, um, NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, but I love this product and I use this quite a bit so I know I'm gonna finish it. So that's kind of cheating, so I'm going to exchange it with the Tarte Smolder Eyes in the shade Taupe, and I did have the Rose Gold one and I'm really bummed that I got rid of that. Okay, so this is where I am. I'm assuming that it's gonna kind of go down to somewhere around here. But that's where I am right now, so I pretty much have the whole product. I really do have to use more of this in my daily routine. I'm sure I'll find a way. It'll go great under like the Naked palette or my Lorac palette. But yeah, I need to use this up because I think I've had this since like last Christmas or maybe the Christmas before. So this is in my project pan instead of the NYX Jumbo Pencil that I love. Next I have the Master Highlight Face Studio in the shade Mauve number 40. These came out maybe two years ago, and I really like these, especially this one, because I've had this for a while, I don't reach for it a lot. However, it is a really good fall color, so it's coming up, so that's really great. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that for you, just so you can see. It's kind of like a burnt garnet kind of color. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the garnet shade from Lorac, but there it is. It's a nice highlight. It's more of as a blush than a highlight, but you can use it both ways, so I'm going to try to see if I can get through that. And then I have kind of palettes that I want to try to get through. One palette... <laughs> I've had this thing for so stinking long. I think I got it when I got the Urban Decay last call. Like, I think they were kind of on the same boat there. But this is a Stila Trio. I don't even think they make this anymore. That's how old it is and it's so old that it just completely falls out the glue has not held up and it's really pretty I do love wearing this shadow these shadows I, so I want to try to get more use out of them and get them back into my daily routine because I do often forget about these because you should see my palette drawer it is a mess right now but let me go ahead and swatch these for you just in case they do have it they these shadows are so super buttery there's not a lot of fallout. 
I might be close to hitting pan on that champagne color because there is a dent in there. I, you can definitely see that dent. It's pretty awesome. There are the three shades. They're gorgeous shades. I really do need to use them. This would be really good for the fall as well. So definitely going to try to rotate that through my collection a little bit more and a little bit more aggressively. That's going to be the key thing is to really aggressively get these through my daily routine just so I can see if I can use some products up because I feel like I have so many products that it's just hard to use anything up because there's just so much. The next thing is a palette. I'm going to try to pan a palette, guys. I'm taking on the challenge. I'm doing it. However, I'm kind of cheating just a little bit, but we're gonna just, I'm just gonna show you where I am. Um, I have hit pan on quite a few of these shadows, but I want to go even further in those shadows. I'm gonna give you a close up of that so you can see where I am. I am basically done with that taupe shade. I went to town on that taupe shade. I love that shade. But yeah, so this is where I am. I hit pan on one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I've hit pan on six shades. I've hit some dents in some. I want to get more use out of this one. These shades right here. So I just want to work more at using this up. I love this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. I just don't reach for it a lot. So because other things take over my life. That's a good starter project. Pan that palette, I guess. Anyways, guys, that is the first installment of my project pan videos if you like this series please give it a thumbs up again if you have any advice hit me up down below hit me up on twitter if you want to follow me there i will have all the, the links below also follow me on instagram because i'll probably be inserting pictures there for you guys to see how far i've gone so definitely be sure to follow me and snapchat as well i will have all those links at the end of the video so please 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 follow me there that's the where you'll get the most updates constantly so yeah that is it thank you so much for watching thank you for being here i really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving me again and i'm so happy to be back filming once again so i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye bye um a single plate i really do have to use it more i had a lot